Whoa. Whoa. Sab, Sab Shed. Shed. Sab's Shed. Hello, Turk lovers, Cthulhu lovers. Uh, look at this. This is uh, one of my first proper uh, 3D prints for the Turk. Uh, what you're seeing here is um, it's a sort of uh, boilerplate, if you like, or base plate for um, for the Turk head, which I'm going to attach to the wooden base. It will be sort of painted to look like brass, but uh, hey, it's cool, eh? I'm well chuffed with that. Took a long time coming this machine and a lot of saving up, but uh, it's looking quite interesting. So I'll show you that when it's done. Oh, the wonders of technology, eh? <laughs> it's very hypnotic, very therapeutic, really. Uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, this is the old 3D printer busy at work. Here he is, I don't know if you can see it. The printer, which I've yet to give a name. Suggestions please down in the comments. Um, it's doing the, uh, the lower servo mount for the head. Uh, okay, there we go. Bit shadowy. And there it is. Uh, yeah. Oh dear. There we are. Lots of lighting issues here, but yeah, it's 73% um, done. And uh, it's doing very well. Right, on to the next thing. Well done, printer. <laughs> Hello, tech lovers. Um, back here in the shed. And here's a few things I've been getting up to. Uh, we've got these bottles, there are seven of them. They are plastic wine bottles from Sainsbury's, very cheap. And uh, what I've done is I took the labels off. At the bottom, I've uh, used some epoxy filler, which is called Milliput, and it's got a little magnet pressed in there as well, so that they've got a little bit of weight and they'll stand up without getting knocked over on the stage if I put a piece of secret metal somewhere about the stage. Uh, so that's good, that just needs to be secured with a bit of Araldite glue to stop any shrinkage. And then the plastic bits cut off and, um, and then we can paint the bottom and then we can move on to doing all the interesting bits like the labels and whatnot. Uh, we've got uh, the upper servo shield, it's not shield, upper servo mount for the head uh, that's just been augmented with a bit of rubber. Uh, ooh, uh, that's waiting for its next stage. We've got uh, the metal that I've now put a little bit of filler on, sanded. The next job is to prime it with a bit of white primer. Um, and uh, the, uh, uh, the padlocks, which uh, remember were not designed by me, see the description for links. I've just tweaked them a bit. They've got to be primed and then painted gray. That makes it look like metal. This will be primed in uh, white primer and then make it look like gold and then we've got a, what I'm calling a boilerplate sort of mechanical looking plate that goes on the bottom of the Turk base that's going to be primed white and then uh, painted to look like brass so we've got those things to prime now plate metal and the five padlocks uh, here we are back in the 3d print studio ho ho and uh, what we're doing now is we're printing the actual uh turk head this is well the turk face if you like the the mask is in two parts and this is the upper front forehead part that the printer is doing now it's just started it's at um can you see this no you cannot it's um exposure won't let you it's at one percent so it's only just started it's 22 minutes in this is going to be a six hour six and a half hour print I think I'm using PET G plastic which um, is different to the PLA plastic I used for the other parts this is um, the reason because I'm learning but my thought process here was that this is a tougher plastic and it's got a higher melting point so I was just worried about PLA 
under stage lights but it might be ill-founded but anyway that's what I decided to do I've gone with this pet G which is harder to remove from the base so um, I'm hoping I'm not gonna have any problems with that but we shall see but anyway there we are at 1% <laughs> right let's come back to it later and here we are again. Now this is uh, at 13% completion um, and it's come on a bit. There's a lot of support material that this model has generated uh, which I'm going to have to cut away but that's okay. Um, it's very difficult to print a model that I'm, I'm trying to do here which is basically my face. This is the forehead of course. Um, from uh, from a mesh. If you remember the files uh, and tribulations that I had on the computer with Tron Sabaton when I was working with um, uh, I think it was Mesh Mixer software to try and uh, make sure we've got a um, watertight model. But um, it's doing its best here, and it's it's coming up pretty well so far. If you ignore all the support material, it's very much like a CT scan. You know, it's printing out layer by layer. So uh, yeah, we're now at 14%. So um, we'll have another look when we get to about 25, something like that. All right. Well done, printer. Uh, we're back again here at 25%. Uh, a little bit more progress. You see that this is uh, this material, PET G, is the name of the plastic. Uh, and it, this is a particular one, it's a trans, translucent brown, which I got. And uh, when I was doing my, um, my tests, actually I'll, I'll show you. Here's a test of uh, the back of the head, back of the Turk head that I made earlier. It's like Blue Peter, isn't it? Um, and it's 25% scaled down. And this is a full-size forehead there and this is quite thin the the walls of this quite thin um, so um, it'll be interesting to see now it's scaled up how it works uh, so there you are 25% uh, we'll come back at 50 right this is uh, the 76% stage it's a bit dark let me put hang on I've got a torch here it's all very high-tech yeah, it's coming out a nice chocolatey colour now. When I did the um, the little tester prints, I was a bit worried, but it's actually coming out really nice now. It's a brown translucent. It's really nice and woody. Woody words. Ooh, caribou nibbling the hoops. Ah, ten points for anyone who knows that sketch. Anyway. There you go, 76%. I'll see you about 99%. We'll see how it ends. Mm, lovely. A big slab of chocolate for Easter. <laughs> if only. No, well, I'm back again. We need a bit more light. There we are. Uh, it's very dark in here, isn't it? We're at 97% and we're almost done. Uh, it looks like it's going to be cool. Nearly nine and a half hours, and the uh, the rest of it's going to take even longer. So anyway, the next time I show you, it will be done. I'm going to have fun trying to take this off the bed. Okay. Oh, very good though. The details come out. All right, onwards. Uh, hello, Turk lovers. A bit dark this scene hang on let me see if I can put a torch on it look I've been 3d printing the face of the Turk it's uh, it's a long print and we did the forehead a little while ago this is the face part uh, it's actually been going for 36 hours and this is the 97% mark it's been okay apart from there has been a mistake I think around six o'clock in the morning I checked it at five uh, it's been something called a, a, a layer shift, possibly two. Uh, well, there's this massive furrow gone down here. So 
unfortunately there's been an error but I will have to fix it because we can't do this again uh, but I've got some ideas for how to fix it uh, it's not, everything's fine but generally the quality is pretty good well not generally the quality is very good it's only that scar that's been carved out I'm going to check the, the model the computer model just to see if I not made a mistake because the, the, there could be a mistake that I missed in the model you know so the, it, it might not be a printing mistake uh, but anyway we'll fix it but we've got another I reckon that'll take about 10-15 minutes and then we'll have a look at it ah so there we are right good apart from that but I'm, I'm okay with that Scarface <laughs> Jolly good. Well, it has been around for 80 years in the play, remember? So, uh, you know, you might have had some damage. But I've got another idea. Remember, you've got two options when something like this happens, On, in general terms. One, you uh, repair or disguise it. Or two, you do the opposite and make a feature of it. So we'll see which is the best. As long as there's a story behind it, it's perfectly justified. Right. We'll come back at the end. Hmm. Interesting though, isn't it? Right, I'm going to go and check the computer file now. Bye. Whoa. Sab Shed. Sab's Shed.